Welcome back to another uh, chapter in the ongoing quest to connect and configure this NVM version 2. Um, I'm going to try to make this as short as possible. Unfortunately, that seems uh, impossible for me. But uh, anyway, <laughs> we're going to try. All right, so we're going to get right to it. Um, get right into your Mach 3, and we're going to go up to configure. And the first thing we're going to do, and this is super easy, is we're going to go to the second tab, motor outputs, and just check mark all these guys. There's no step pins, there's no direction pins, they stay zero. And if your axes are going um, in the opposite direction of the button you're pressing, uh, just check that guy off and it'll go the proper way you want. Um, it, this direction low active is uh, just reversing basically everything. So if all your wiring's good, that's what you want. Now, bear in mind, you have to have your dip switches, resolutions, amperages set properly on your drivers for this. Um, unfortunately, I can't help you with this because all settings are different and all machines are different and the drivers I don't know what drivers you're using and everything else so you're kind of on your own with that one sorry guys um, next part and this is more this is kind of like part two of motor tuning make sure this guy is not blinking set your machine up um, if you have to wheel it by hand or whatever uh, to the center give it lots of room and we're going to go to motor tuning config motor tuning click on that guy and we're going to start with the x-axis so let me just explain this guy steps per unit is calculated through calibration and we'll get into that later velocity is how fast your axis moves when it's up to speed acceleration is how fast it's going to get up to speed and um, for my my machine, these are these are the settings that I'm going to use. Um, basically, velocity is uh, how fast it'll go without tripping over itself, uh, aka binding and etc. Like that. And acceleration, obviously, you don't want it to bind while it's accelerating. Um, you also don't want it to coast. So there's a these two you kind of have to play with them. Leave this guy alone. We're going to get to that in, at the end of the video. Uh, step pulse and G's are all, these, these are calibrated, I think, through steps. And step pulse is, they say in the manual, I think I read 2.5. You can't put uh, halves, um, decimal numbers in here. So we're just going to leave it at 2. And um, direction pulse, I just left at 0. So, we're going to select this guy, x-axis, and the manual says 1500, and that's not what I started with, but I'm going to show you what they recommend. So, I think it's 200, and after you're done this, on the x-axis, after you're done this and this, save your axis, 1500, 200, save axis now this is uh, my setup is a uh, for X and Y is two NEMA 23 motors and then my Z axis is NEMA 24 I don't even remember if I hit save but that's okay I'm gonna have to redo this anyway I'm just doing this for the sake of the video um, so and you'll notice when you pl plug in this 200 with the uh, with the NVM, uh, it kind of coasts up to speed, and that's not something that I desire. So, if if you're okay with it, you can you can ramp this up and you know, just as long as it doesn't bind and chuck oh, too far. <laughs> Uh, 
or ramp it down. If you're new to this and you're making some type of machine, this is how you'd go about setting your motor uh, speed and feed, I guess you could say. Save. Okay. After you're finished up in motor tuning, and you can just play with those numbers as, as you see fit for your machine, um, try not to go too far off. Okay, so just be aware, uh, if your machine's hooked up and everything and like this, um, there may be pinch points. So if everything's done correctly, this is what you should get right here. Um, and um, yeah, I'd like to say thanks for watching all my videos. Um, you can like or subscribe if you want. There's going to be more. I'm going to do one on um, calibration. I do it a bit differently. I came up with my own procedure. And uh, yeah, thanks for putting up with me. Happy holidays and good luck with everything as usual. And um, see you in the next one.